Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. We're about to, I am ready to hit the road. I'm loaded up. Miss, Miss Trudy, Trudy Thunder, she's ready to roll. As you see, the day is kind of gray and dreary, but that's supposed to improve in the next hour or so. But anyway, I promise you, it's going to get better. It is last week of October 2021, and we are rolling. We're headed south. We're actually going to go visit two campgrounds this week, weekend. The first one we're headed to, and the one we're headed to right now, Wilson H. Fox Corps of Engineer Campground on Granger Lake. Now, I did a brief tour several years back of the Wilson H. Fox Campground. I haven't camped there, though. So we're going to go camp at Wilson H. Fox. It's a waypoint stop to our next destination, which you'll see next weekend. And that one is... A uh, first for the Dude RV channel, a Lower Colorado River Authority campground. So I promise in the next cut, when I get to Wilson H. Fox, I should have some sunshine. If not, I'll, I'll work on this lighting issue. All right, let's go to Wilson H. Fox on Granger Lake. Wilson H. Fox Campground Park, Lake Granger. About two years, year and a half ago, uh, it's, we, we've, I've been to Granger Lake several times. I really like Granger Lake. Man, it is windy today. Look at the lake. We're not going to be doing any boating out there today. And the scooter run is gonna be gonna be different with it with it being this windy. Anyway, let's talk about the site. Site number 15. One of the things I like about Granger Lake, the campsites all have this great big huge pavilion. Wooden picnic table, a bar, you can put your camp stove there. They have a charcoal cooker, but it looks like it's kind of burnt out. Fire ring. Asphalt pad, very level. This, is, this one's big enough to fit a big motor home. Trudy, Trudy got some space left over. It is 30, 50 in water. Looks like the water's leaking. Super level, I didn't need any blocks. All of the sites out here at Granger Lake are, are, are very level. The right next door is a double site. Cost you twice as much. I'm gonna deploy a little red, put on the harness, and we'll go see some stuff. Took me a little over four hours to get to Wilson H. Fox from McKinney. Now, had I been riding with kids, by the time we got here, they'd have been driving me nuts. And I could have brought them over here. 
and let them play to their heart's content. They even have some of those swing as high as you can and jump out like it don't matter swings from our childhood. Of course, we never did that. No. A little water fountain, too. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Well, you learn something new every day. At least you should. Wilson H. Fox actually has... Actually, they've actually got some cabins. So what they did was they just... They, they turned the big pavilion into living space. It's got two bunks and a sink. Kitchen, little kitchenette. And what it does, what I don't see, other than I don't see any air conditioning. Maybe, maybe they've got it hidden. I don't see any air conditioning, but that's all right. What you can do is you can bring your RV and then use that as your office space or your outdoor living room. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So Wilson H. Fox actually has, according to the sign up here, fishing dock. You can buy your activity pass online and pay your entrance fees that way. It is most assuredly not handicap accessible unless you've got a little something more than a little red. But we're gonna we're gonna hobble on down here and check it out. So we made it down to the fishing platform. It is so windy today. And it has got my nose running non-stop. Granger Lake is supposed to be a really good crappie lake. And look at those waves just a rolling. Not too bad here. But if you get motion sickness, you would probably have it here today. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Part of Wilson H. Fox. And for my boat ramp fans, this is a good one. This is at least a two laner, if not a three. It's got a courtesy dock. Now, if it wasn't so dang windy, I would have no problem riding. Well, let's, let's do it anyway. Let's go, let's, let's go down on the bucking dock. That's right, I said bucking with a B, bucking dock. The only downside is we'll have to come back up the hill. But it'll sure be climbing those stairs. Man, I don't know about... <laughs> I don't know about all that. Let's, we'll just walk out here. It's pushing under. <laughs> like back that's like being back on the aircraft carrier only the aircraft carrier didn't move this much 
go see what else we can find. Well, it seems that Wilson H. Fox, Wilson H. Fox Park actually has two boat ramps. Right there. <laughs> That's another two laner. This is the west boat ramp. The size of this Corps of Engineer campground is a it's a bit deceptive. Get a good look at the dam from this angle. Boy, driving across that was a, uh, an adventure today. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So if you got a big bunch of folks who want to hang out at the lake together, you'd be you'll be happy to know that Wilson H. Fox can accommodate a group activity right here in this group shelter. Does have power and water and a big old cooker somewhere. Oh, there they are. Three cookers right there. All right, let's, let's go see some more stuff. If you're in the vicinity of Wilson H. Fox, you might want to come and just have a, a picnic, do a motorcycle ride out, out here and spend the day just chilling, cooking some hot dogs and hamburgers. All right, let's go to the beach. If it's a hot summer day and you're looking and you're looking to get into some cool water, and you're in the vicinity of Granger Lake, Granger Lake is on the Leon River, by the way. We are down here at the beach, and it is really, really windy. Pretty though. We're about to run out of out of sidewalk. the beach. Wilson H. Fox. When I was out here a couple years ago, there were, I saw, I saw a herd of deer. Really nice buck grazing right here. Not today. All right, let's go see some more stuff.
morning. Boy, that sun is bright coming up over the horizon. That's great. It's going to be a beautiful day. Another beautiful day. It's currently set up here at Wilson H. Fox on, on Granger Lake. Having a cup of coffee this morning before I get on the road. We're done here. A quick review of Wilson H. Fox on Granger Lake. I really like all of the campgrounds on Granger Lake. And Wilson H. Fox is no exception. Well maintained, very clean, access to the water, stuff for the kids to do. Yeah, this is a cool place. Granger Lake has been a, a favorite waypoint stop for me for well, since I discovered it. It also would be a great destination, especially if you like to do some fishing. Of course, you're going to want to pray that there's no wind blowing because when the wind gets up on this lake, man, <laughs> it's supposed to be another windy day today. But we're done here. I encourage you to pay a visit to Granger Lake. This, this is well worth the, the effort to get here. From here, we're headed about an hour and a half south, maybe not quite that far. We're going to, we're going to go visit a, a lower Colorado River Authority campground. And this will be, that's a first for Dude RV. I've not ever been to a lower Colorado River Authority campground. Gotta, gotta move the sunlight to the other eye. <laughs> It's bright this morning. I hope you'll come along with me next Sunday morning as we explore Lake Bastrop and spend a few nights camping and recreating at the North Shore Park of Lake Bastrop. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you've been following along, man, thank you. I cannot say thank you enough. I truly appreciate that. And for my patrons, you rock. So let's get on the road and we'll see you next week. Y'all come back now, you hear?